Hello and welcome back to Griffin, Indiana. So, we now have negative 126 pounds, and that's because of the all the costs of, of cost of living overnight, which is not perfect by any means. Yes, we have a little bit of an issue there. Um, so what I need to do is I need to get all that hay picked up today. Uh, well, I need to get the rest of it bailed, don't I? Um, but first of all, let's put the white tractor on seeding. I'm not sure whether to do wheat or barley. What do you think? Uh, possibly barley. Right, well that's full up. I'm thinking maybe barley. I can do barley at this time of year, can't I? Yes, just. I can still just do barley. So, barley it is. Not enough money? Of course not enough money. Damn. Well, that's not going to work very well, is it? Uh, I'm going to have to do jobs myself. That's a crazy. That's a crazy. Well, I guess then... First thing to do would be to go and bail up all the uh, bail up all the hay that's remaining. And then we'll have to leave that out in the field while we uh, while we do the seeding. And then we'll come back and pick it all up with the uh, trailer and the front loader. That is an upsetting, isn't it? I'd forgotten I needed money to use a worker. Who? I don't suppose there's much else to do than me get on with it, basically. So uh, let's crack on and do the bailing. And then I'll see you when we're going to be doing the, um, the seeding.
Okay, there we go. So, quite a few bales. Pretty pleased with that. Um, and I think we'll leave this here. All right, let's hop over to the field boss. Get this working. Oh, this is going to be one of those difficult to see seeding sessions. Oh, never mind. I'm sure we'll make it work. At least we're only doing the small field, not the big field. That would take forever. So, yeah. Um, so these are the only two jobs I really want to get done today. But I think we're going to be doing all right, considering it's only... 9.30 a.m. And we've got plenty of time left to carry on. Um, Yes. I don't think there's anything else that needs looking after at the minute. Let's have a quick check. Uh, animals. You see, now they've still got quite a lot of hay, although they are getting through it very, very quickly. Straw's going down reasonably well. Uh, that's just chugging away, making us more silage, ready for selling in winter. So there really is not much else that we need to get done in October. It's fortunate that I can actually um, get this stuff planted in, or seeded in the ground in October because uh, that's going to save us a lot of bother and trouble in the spring. But it definitely, once we have got in the profits from our winter sales, of the silage, the um, yeah, the silage, the grain, we've got the oats and the sorghum. All of that will be sold over uh, around January time. Uh, once all those come in, we should be able to get a good chunk of equipment. There'll be certain stuff that we absolutely need like um, milk tanker start selling the milk and a feed mixer to start making up total mixed ration and there'll be certain stuff that we absolutely want like a replacement tractor for the John Deere uh, and some bigger cultivation and seeding equipment We're getting through the seed quite quick. 11% of it's already gone. Just doing one headland, but uh, I mean, hopefully we'll have enough to do the field. If not, we will, well, we have got more in the, in the shed, so it's not the end of the world. We can get more out of the shed. I'm really enjoying this series. I'm looking forward to getting the bigger equipment. I really am. Because the uh, the bigger stuff is going to make things a lot, lot quicker and easier. And when we have got some bigger equipment and we can get on with things a lot faster, we can look at getting some more land, get, buying more fields. And I know saying this with minus 168 pounds is, um, well, obviously quite optimistic we have got a big payout on the way and once we've kick started we'll be able to progress really really nicely but 
Right. I'm going to crack on with this. And I will see you when it's done. Well, there we go. That's that field all done, which is fantastic news. Money is still going down because uh, because the um, well, the fermenter is using money all the time and having to pay for that production. Um. Yeah, I think we're doing pretty well at the minute. I'm pretty happy with how that's turned out. We've now got a full field of winter barley planted. But I'm happy about that. And all we've got to do is basically just uh, spray it with both herbicide and fertilizer over the winter period and it should be all good it won't even have grown enough to worry about um, destroying the crop right I think the only thing left to do today is to get the bales in which shouldn't take too long I don't know where to store them though, that's the only thing. I've no idea where I'm going to store the bales. It's going to be uh, tough. So what I need now is I need to put the baler away and get the bale trailer all sorted out so the bales can just be picked up. I don't think I've missed anything in this field at all. It's very difficult to see. Where are we? No, it looks like I'm all right. Hopefully. And how are we for... Yes, yeah, so I need some lime. Definitely need some nitrogen. Yeah, okay. No, it's looking good.
It is looking good. We're getting a bit low on fuel at the minute, though. That's the only problem. Hopefully, we shouldn't need too much before we bring in the big bucks in winter. But I'm not certain. I have no idea. leave that there get the baler taken over back to the farm we'll pick up the trailer this tractor definitely needs a service but I have not got the money to do that and won't have until we're selling it I imagine so we're selling everything else as well. Hmm. Right. If we just tuck this into here, we can pop back to the cow barn to get my flatbed trailer that's the goal oof that's quite a ledge off there really need to smooth all that out at some point obviously once I've got the money because at the minute still no money from what I said three minutes ago we haven't managed to get any money so far I think at the minute these bales can stay on the trailer so we'll get them all cleared up and put on the trailer how many have we got we've got three six nine twelve 15, 16, 16 bales. Probably won't all fit on the trailer, but we shall give it a go. We'll see how it goes. Ooh, these are a bit wobbly. Right, I'll get this done and I'll see you in a minute. There we go. That is the trailer fully loaded. And we've got two more to bring back on the forks. Question is, where do I bring them back to? I don't really know at the minute. I suppose we're going to hang on to them. If we need to use them before winter or before we get the money for a TMR mixer, then we will. If we don't, we won't. But I think 
We've got a good supply there anyway for for what we need them for. Whether that's just to use them as hay, or whether that's to use them as a mix, a TMR mix. So, uh, yeah. So I don't know what to do with them because I'm not sure I can put them in there and get them out. Let's leave them down here for now. And we'll bring this over. Not going to be an awful lot left to do this year anyway, apart from a bit of spraying on that field. Um, so hopefully the tractors will survive until then. This one especially. A bit of spraying shouldn't cause any problems with them um, speed and things right so we'll leave that there for now thank you so much for watching and i will see you again very soon bye for now